this episode, we'll be looking at an awesome project known as SQL Alchemy. It is a package that goes into the class known as Object Relational Mapper. There are several Python ORMs out there, but I think SQL Alchemy is the best. If you want to check out some other ones, you might check out such a uh, SQL object, which is also a fairly large one. Um, because of my music net, I'm going to be using some examples where I create a database that's related to my CD collection. So basically what we'll learn in this particular video is how to add data to a table, create the database, modify the data, delete the data, and some basic queries. Let's get started by creating the database. So here's a bunch of code. We import SQL Alchemy, and well, we actually import stuff from SQL Alchemy. And basically what we're doing here is we create an engine which will connect us to SQLite. And what's really cool about SQL Alchemy is that all you have to do is change this create engine string to point at a different database structure. So if you want to use MySQL or Postgres, you can just change this string and then you can save it to that database instead for the most part. All right, then we create a declarative base, which is basically a special kind of class that we can base our, I mean, a subclass our stuff off of. So. We create an artist class and an album, album class. And then inside of these classes, we create a table name, which is artists and albums respectively in lowercase. We create ID columns for the, that are be the primary key. And then the name of the artist, and then the, in the album, we have title, release date, publisher, and media type. And here you can see we use different types. So some of them are strings and some of them are dates. And then we get down to the interesting part where we have artist ID. And it's a foreign key from this from this particular table, so artist.id. And then we tell it the relationship, so artist has a back reference to the albums, and it's ordered by the ID. And finally, we create the tables at the very end by calling base.metadata.create all and pass it the engine that we created up here. So if we run this code, we should see a bunch of output. But since we've run this already, I need to go delete that database real quick. And then I'll just run this for, for real. So let me do that real quick. Now let's run this. And you'll see we get a whole bunch of output. So you can see what it's doing. It creates a table with all this information. Creates, creates the artist table with all this information and then it commits it at the very end. And just so you know why it did that is because we set echo to true, so everything, all the SQL commands will be printed to the screen. Now if you run this again, it shouldn't really do anything. Yeah, it attempts to connect to the table, and it sees that it's already created, so it doesn't recommit everything. An older version of SQL Alchemy would actually throw an error, so. Just an FYI, if you happen to use an older version, you may see an error pop up. But this has been true for quite a while, so you shouldn't really see that unless you have, unless for some reason you're using a really ancient version. All right, so now we have a table. We just need to do something with it. So we should probably learn how to insert or add data to our table. That's what we'll look at next. All right, so let's open up my next script, and we'll find out how to add data. So it looks kind of complicated, but it's really not that bad. So we import various items. We create our engine again because we're not using the same file. And this time we create a session and bind it to that engine. The session gives us the magic to actually add data to our database. So here, we, you'll notice that we've imported album and artist from our previous uh, script that we created. So you can say new artist equals artist, name equals newsboys. And then we say new artist dot albums because it has a relationship with the albums uh, class. So here we create a list with just a single item in it, and inside of it we have an album with all the little bits and pieces that we need. Then we create another list that has other album instances in it. And the reason we do this is to show you how to uh, create an album using new artist.albums and then add to it by doing albums.extend. So then we do session.add, the new artist, and then we commit that artist to the database. 
Next, we add all the following artists to the artist database, and we hit commit there too. So if we run this, we'll see a whole bunch of output. Let's do that real quick. All right. So I'll see here, begin, insert into artists, various vet names and values, in this case, newsboys, insert some more data, read all about it, hells for rimps, etc., etc. And then down here, we have insert into artists, MXPX cut less than 1,000 foot crutch. So all this does is insert data, and it prints out exactly what it's doing so you can see it all. That was pretty easy. Now we just need to move on and find out how to actually modify our records in case we made a mistake or we just want to change something. So that's what we're going to look at next. All right, so to modify data in your database, we're just going to have to do a quick little query. So here's our next little piece of code. Some of this should look pretty familiar because we have Create Engine, Session Maker, Album, and Artist. You know, so we have our connection stuff again, we create our session again, and here we have a little quick query. And basically what we're doing here is we're going to query the artist table and filter it on the name of Cutlass, and we're going to grab the first result. Then we'll print out the name to make sure it's right, and then we're going to change the name to the Beach Boys, and then we're going to commit it, our change. And then we're going to change some album data. So we're going to query the artist and the album uh, tables and filter by uh, the ID of both of them. So if the IDs match, uh, we're going to look for a title called Thrive, which happens to be an album title. And we're going to grab its first result. And there really should only be one right now. And then we're going to change that title to step up to the microphone and commit that too. So if, we do this if I've done this correctly, it, everything should work and we should just get a bunch of output. Let's check it out. So far, so good. Okay, so you can see that it does some selects here. There's a select, you can actually see what it does from artists. Where artists.name equals question mark, some limits. This is basically straight SQL code. So if you know how to do SQL, you can kind of understand what's going on here. So then we change the name to Cutlass, basically, and it tells it it, uh, update artist and set the name where the artist ID equals, which we, what we, what we pass in. In this case, we're passing in Beach Boys. So, that all works. I'm not sure where the commit is. It's in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it yet. There's a commit in here. There should have been a commit up here. Oh, here it is right there. So it commits it there, and then we do our next select on the artist and album tables, and we get what we want out of that and change it up. Now, if you want, there's a cool little Firefox plugin that's, all, that's about using opening SQLite databases, and you can actually see what's going on using that, because it'll actually show you the database in a nice uh, user interface. But in our next piece, we're going to actually learn how to do queries, so we can actually see how stuff is going on. And then we'll look at how to delete records in SQL Alchemy. So let's do a little bit of queries first. All right, so I'm going to show you some code I wrote where I basically do a, a series of different kinds of queries. And I called it queries.py. We do everything at the beginning exactly the same. And this time we're going to show how to do a select all. So if you're used to uh, SQL, SQL, you normally do a select star to do select all, but in Python or SQL Alchemy, you do session.query table name dot all. And to see what we got, I'm going to loop over each result of the artist and print it out, print out the name. Next, we're going to select just the first result, which we kind of did in the last example. So we query the artist, look for newsboys, and print it out. No, well, actually, we don't print it out here, but we just grab it. And then we sort the results. So in this particular query, grab an album and order it by the album title, and we grab all of the albums. And because we told it to order by the title, it should print out the titles in alphabetical order. Next we do a join. So we have a session.query, the two tables. We query the join is right here, where we put the artist ID equal to the album.artist ID. And then we do a query on that filter 
So what we basically do is we tell it we want to look for the album title, step up to the microphone. This is also kind of similar to our previous example. And finally, we do a like query. So submission query filter, uh, album publisher dot like, and we basically look for anything that starts with an S and has an A in it, I believe is what that means. So let's go ahead and see what we get for that. Let's run this all out and see what we get. So we run it. We got a whole bunch of output. Let's scroll up a little bit. All right, so we do a quick hit select. This selects everything, I think. Let me go up all the way, yep. So this selects all the artists and then prints them out. So we have Newsboys, MXPX Beach Boys, and Thousand Foot Crutch. And you'll remember that Beach Boys used to be called Cutlass. And then we do another query from artist where artist name and look just for newsboys, but we don't actually print anything out there. However, we go on and I believe we look up just the artist. Let's take a look here. So yeah, we take this this particular one we order by the title. So the next one should be ordered by the title. Let's see, switch it back. So yes, HLRS, you notice that these are all sorted by their titles. So that's cool. Let's see, what else did we do? We did a query, we only grabbed stuff to microphone dot first, but we didn't actually print anything out. So there's nothing to see there, but let's see what we got back from that like query. So let's see, we did a like, S, these are wildcard characters, and an A somewhere in there. So you'll notice that we have S, and there's an A, so Star Song, and Sparrow showed up twice. So basically that went through and looked for publishers with an S and an A in them, a capital S and a lowercase A, and it printed them out. So those are pretty simple queries. You, know, you can basically do whatever you want in SQL Alchemy and get really, really complicated. You can join, you can basically stack queries like I did here, where you just make a, where you set up a query and then you do a bunch of filters on that query over and over again. So you see this query now has been filtered and then refiltered again. And you can stack them up really, really complicatedly if you wanted to. There are just all kinds of cool things you can do with it. I, and this is probably the, one of the best documented packages in, in, as a third party package that you can find. So you really need to check out the documentation just on how to do queries because it's really, really helpful. All right, I believe the last topic we're going to look at is deleting a record. So let's take a look at that next. All right, so deleting data is really, really easy, so this won't take very long. So we create our engine like we did before, we create our session, and here we have our query. And basically we look for the artist name MXPS and MXPX and grab it the first result. And then we just do session.delete on that result and commit our change. That's all you have to do to delete something. You just do a search for it. Once you got the result or result set, because you may want to delete multiple items, then you can just do delete. There is a cascading delete, but I think you have to still enable that. I don't think it's on by default. But you'll need to check the documentation because different versions have different defaults, and I can't remember now which one the current one has. And it might have changed by the time you watch this video anyway, so definitely check the documentation if you need to know about cascading deletes. Anyway, let's run this and see if it'll delete anything. All right, that was a whole lot of text. We need to get to the actual thing, actual query, where it looks for the query, uh, the, the artist name. Selects it. And down here, we get delete from artists where artist ID equals blank, and then we commit our change. So we've just deleted a record from our database, and it no longer exists. Pretty cool. At this point, you should be able to use SQL Alchemy to create a database, query the database, add data, delete data, and modify the data. Not necessarily in that order. I highly recommend checking out all of the documentation because it's great and you'll be able to do just about anything if you read that documentation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you.